Welcome back to Final Cut Pro with the Fro. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a glitch and flicker text effect. Now, in order to make this effect work, we're gonna to have to cut this clip six times. So I'm gonna use my right arrow key and hit Command B. I'm gonna repeat that until we have six cuts. Okay, so now we're gonna select, we can zoom in a bit and you're gonna select every other clip that we just cut and then hit void so we have our three clips. I'm just gonna zoom out and I'll play this back real quick. And as you can see, we cut each clip so every time the playhead goes by, that voided clip doesn't show up so it gives it that flicker effect. One more thing that I like to do to bring these effects to life is I'll add a little flicker sound effect with this flicker effect we have on the text. So I'm just gonna go here, find my sound, drag it underneath and I'm just gonna cut off the part because you can see there's some dead space there I'm gonna cut it to here I'm gonna pull this on right underneath the clip and just cut it off right here so subtle fade out and fade in now here's that same effect with just a little bit of sound design Now that's just something I like to do personally, just to take the effect to the next level a bit. Now let's move over to the glitch effect. So we're gonna keep the same cuts we had from the flicker effect. All I'm gonna do is just select all three of these clips that are not voided and I'm gonna hold the alt button and I'm dragging upward. Now it has created a duplicate of the clips I had selected. I'm gonna go over here with all those clips still selected and change the opacity to 50%. So now you're going to want to select the first clip here and I'm just going to play around with the position a bit. So I'll drag it over here, maybe bring it up a bit. There's no rules when it comes to moving the position here. You just want to move all three clips. So when it plays back, you get a glitch effect with it. So I'll play that for you now. And as you can see, it created a subtle glitch effect. To spice up this glitch, I'm just going to add a prism effect right here. So. You're gonna find prism here. You're gonna drag that onto the first clip. I'll also do bad TV. These are just a couple of effects that I like to add if I'm doing a glitch effect. Now we can copy the glitch and bad TV effect and paste it onto these two clips. So I'm not gonna need the transformation and I don't need the compositing. I'm just looking for the prism and bad TV to paste onto these two clips. I'll play that back with those two effects added to this. And as you can see, it just brought more color into the shot, so it really enhances that glitch effect. Now, one last thing I like to do is add the sound just like we did in the flicker effect. So I'll go in and find my glitch sound. So I'm just gonna choose a part that I like. Now I'm gonna drag this under here, make sure the sound is starting when the glitch is starting. So right there, I'm gonna cut it off here. Just do a little fade out, fade in. All right. Now let's play this effect back with the glitch added in. And there you have it. That's a simple and easy way you can go about creating a glitch and flicker text effect inside of Final Cut Pro. If there's anything else you need to know about Final Cut Pro, let me know in the comments down below.